the power of the system. The views, opinions, and representations expressed on the Night Dreams Talk Radio Network and its website are those of the hosts, guests, and participants, and are not necessarily those of or endorsed by the network, its affiliated stations and broadcasts, the management, other hosts, or advertisers of the network. The shows found on the Night Dreams Talk Radio Network can, but do not necessarily, promote any particular lifestyle, belief, religion, political affiliation, or other personal practice. These shows are for entertainment purposes only, and are not intended to treat, diagnose, and or claim any cure of disease or condition, or give any medical or legal advice. You're listening to my friend Gary Anderson on My Dreams Talk Radio, the best in paranormal radio. As I keep telling you, John, I'm not the best, I'm not the worst, but at least I'm on the radio. Hey, tonight we got a great guest. We got Ellen Wright, who writes fantastic books. He'll be on right after this. You can advertise your business on Night Dreams Talk Radio, and you will be heard worldwide. Why not contact us at nightdreamstalkradio at gmail.com. If you would like to hear Night Dreams Talk Radio on your local radio station, let them know. Tell them to check out www.nightdreamstalkradio.com, and thank you. Coming to you from some far point station, like a cosmic tumbleweed, both north and south of the Pleiades, here's your host, Gary Anderson. Boy, that thunder just comes and goes. Hey, Alan, my friend, how are you doing tonight? Well, I'm doing just fine so far. (laughs) Well, how's the weather in your location? Well... You know, I, I moved, moved from Utah back down to Phoenix, Arizona, my home state. I was born and raised in, in Phoenix, so uh, I was up, uh, my wife and I were up in uh, Utah for about seven years, and uh, uh, we decided to move back to Arizona, and it's good to be here, yeah, and the weather here, uh, today I think it got up to like 106 and for Phoenix, that's pretty good in July, you know. So um, it, it's nice. We had a nice rain last night that came de- down. There was no big old dust storm or anything that came with it, you know. So uh, it was a nice little soaker rain. Uh, uh, it wasn't anything flooding or anything. So it, it was pretty nice. It was really nice to wake up to it this morning. Oh, so yeah. It was great. Well, yeah, up here in the West Coast, up here in Gig Harbor, Washington, the compound, you know, yesterday we hit 92, today we hit 72. This The weather system is so messed up. Yep. Last year we were really hot. This time of year we haven't had any, you know, huge uh, heat waves yet. Uh, you know, we got August, but we'll see what happens. Uh, a question. Do a lot of people yep. still go to Arizona to retire? Uh, I'm sure they do. Uh, I don't see why not. Uh uh, I really like the state. Uh, Utah is a nice place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live there. <laughs> but anyway, that's that's my own opinion. <laughs> well, you know, I uh, I find whatever state you're born into, you have this thing. Like, you know, I was born in Washington right. State. I've been, you know, North Carolina. Yeah. I've been into, you know, a lot of parts of the country. But you know what? I always couldn't get, you know, wait to get back home, you know, because yeah. I'm used to it. And I'm sure the same way with you. Well, that, and plus, you know, up in Utah, they're, you know, uh, they have national parks and, they, you know, they, they do a lot of camping up there. They do a, uh, they four wheel clubs, you know, where they 
to take their jeeps and whatever go out in the uh, outback and you know uh during the winter time you know a lot of snow so they do skiing and everything well i don't do any of that you know so you know i just sat around watched tv and wrote my books <laughs> and, and utah did get me started writing my books so uh i do have to thank it for that uh but anyway we came back to arizona um i i missed my state uh i felt re- really good driving into arizona in the old u-haul truck uh i didn't realize i missed it as much as i did i'm used to it i know the streets i know the area you know so yeah, oh. yeah it was great coming back well i'm glad for you hey I, a quick shout out to karen banks who's one of our listeners here tonight uh well let's talk about uh your last two books you uh just had published Okay. The, um, my book number seven, Ghost Stories Among Friends, uh, it was uh, kind of different for me because uh, I didn't write all the stories that's in it. Uh, I sent out uh, notices to all my friends on Facebook and uh, Instagram, uh, uh, Twitter, and all of them. Uh, to uh, send me uh, their own ghost stories, my friends, you know, and, and uh, uh, to share them with me, and then I would put them in my next book. And that's what I did. So uh, most of these stories in, in that book is uh, uh, from those people that wrote the, their stories for me. And so it's different in that way. It's a pretty neat book, and uh, I like it a lot, and uh, I think it's a book you could sit down and uh, share with friends. <laughs> now, do you have any stories that didn't make it in the, uh, the uh, in the book you can share with the audience? Uh, anything scary yeah. about ghosts and things like that? <laughs> things that go that creepy at make... night. <laughs> well, um, all the stories I have put in the book... Uh, from friends, uh, I put them in. Now, I have some stories uh, of my own that I did not put in there, and I believe one of them that I didn't put in there is uh, uh, when we lived in this haunted house. And, uh, uh, of course, we had uh, uh, shadow people that were in the house. We also had, uh, um, I had a banshee. I called it a banshee as a, Uh, I would go to bed at night, and this crazy female, she looked like a witch, in my dream, would rush up and just scream in my ear, and it would wake me up, and, you know, I was ready to fight when I woke up. I was that straight up, and I was looking for (laughs) what was going on, and she would do that sometimes two or three times a night, and uh, uh, this went on for a while. Uh, we also had, uh, uh, an evil presence in the house. Uh, there was, I come home from work one time and I had, uh, uh, hundreds of flies in the windows around the dining room and the, uh, and the living room area. And, uh, uh that's there. They, they were those big old fat, disgusting, ugly flies. They were so big and heavy, they couldn't hardly fly. They were really slow when they took off or whatever. But anyway, we had those. Um, now, I got to I, I gotta ask one? you. I got to ask you a question. You know, uh, yeah. you know, just before my divorce uh, in my second marriage, I've been married three times. Uh, this time, forty-two years. But uh, in my first marriage. Uh, you know, we, me and my wife at the time, we bought a house. We were in it for six months, you know, uh, not a trace of flies in the house, not any. And, uh, we, you know, and my wife, my first wife was a witch or she claimed she was a witch. She was into the Ouija board and all that, that stuff. We were talking about that before. I remember. Yeah. and, and we, I, we went somewhere, we came home, and the house was, I mean, you couldn't even open your mouth, otherwise you'd be eating these big, fat flies. So I yeah, had the uh, exterminator come out, and they were shocked, because they said, these are flies that are close to dying, old. And I, and I, and I said, well, I don't know, how could they could be here, thousands of them, but they weren't there yeah. two hours ago. 
Uh, I, That's the way these flies were. Yeah. And, and that kind of gave me, well, it must have been evil because I'll tell you what, uh, two weeks later, you know, uh, I, I sent my wife to go buy me a candy bar and I disappeared. <laughs> well, that's one way to. Yeah, well, <laughs> as she, guess, huh? yeah, while she's going to the store to get me a candy bar, I was loading my car up and I took off. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> it, it, it was really strange and I, I felt that house it was a fh uh, fha repo house back those days and i swear wow. to god it, that the, the, the place was haunted and it was evil yeah so i don't yeah. know now getting back to your story yet you had the flies well you know i killed off the flies and uh, uh my wife and i was sitting there watching tv one night we have the nice uh at the time it was a uh 55 inch uh uh, TV and we're sitting there watching it, you know, and we kept seeing these flies flying up. Yeah, the room was dark except for the TV, and we kept seeing these flies flying up uh, by the TV in front of the TV, and we're going, "What the heck?" You know. So I grab a flash water. I was about ready to go at it again, and uh, when we turn on the lights, there was no flies, and but we turn the lights off. Uh, again, they would fly in front of the TV, and we found out what it was was uh, it uh, it was ghost flies, uh, the spirits of those flies that I had killed in the house. Uh, they weren't, uh, they didn't have their physical bodies anymore, but they still had their little spirit bodies, and they, <laughs> they were still in the house. And this time, I couldn't kill them, but yeah, yeah it was a strange house. It really was. Uh, we saged it and we blessed it and everything. We we uh, we got rid of the um, uh, evil presence. We got rid of that, fortunately. Uh, we got rid of everything. We got rid of the banshee. Uh, the only thing we could not get rid of was the uh, shadow people. And I kind of feel shadow people might be uh, like a, from another dimension or something. I, I It's hard to put a finger on it. They're not really spirit and they're not physical. You know, it, they're kind of weird. I I get the, you know, I'm a, a, a medium art also. I'm a spiritual medium. And uh, I, when I... I get a feeling from these uh, uh, shadow people that they're 